Have you ever wondered what the world really looks like? Join us in this amazing adventure and see with your own eyes how the invisible is revealed under the scanning electron microscope. Hello, my name is Maido. And I'm Elina. The fly has plagued mankind since time immemorial. But today we will reveal its secrets under the scanning electron microscope. This microscope uses accelerated electrons instead of photons to create an image of the studied substrate. This allows us to get high resolution images with an exceptional depth of field and magnification. So let's get started. We are dealing with a biological sample and therefore it needs to be dried in vacuum and coated with a thin layer of platinum. In the following steps, the researcher has to use rubber gloves and pincers to avoid damaging or contaminating the delicate sample. Now that the sample is fully prepared, it can be inserted into the microscope through the airlock. We can now start to study the fly, and the first site of interest could be the leg. So let's find one. This is a blue bottle fly, so slightly larger than a regular house fly. The fly's body and legs are covered with black bristle-like hair, and the legs have each four knees. Let's take a look at the wings as well. The wings are generally transparent. They are attached to two kinds of muscles, those used to power the flying and another set used for fine control of the wings. The next stop is the eye of the fly, one of the thousand that is. Flies have a pair of large compound eyes on the sides of the head. Compound eyes consist of many photoreceptor units, thus providing a wide angle view. I wonder if the fly has teeth. Let's zoom into the mouth. The mouth parts are adapted mostly for piercing and sucking, but flies have no teeth. Mouth consists of labrum, labium, mandibles and maxilla. Chemoreceptors are used to detect smell and taste. Can you guess what part of the fly this is? So that's how a fly looks like under the scanning electron microscope. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then click on the subscribe button over here. What's your favorite part of the fly and what should we study next under the scanning electron microscope? Let us know by writing your thoughts to the comment section below. Bye. Bye.